In this video, Mitch, my Fahaka Puffer, gets a new home. This is Mitch. This is Mitch, my Fahaka Puffer. Mitch has always been with other fish his entire life. I've had him for almost two years, and it's time that Mitch gets his own home. We have a new setup for him, and I'm escaping the aquarium. He's having tank mates. Not the tank mates you would think. They're going to be small. They're going to be bite size. I don't think he's gonna to wanna to eat them, but if it works, I think it's gonna be cool. So let me show you what I've got. Now, if I butcher these names, I apologize. So we're sticking with rhizome plants. These are some type of java fern, some fern anyway. They're nice. Tom from Planted Aquaria in Oakville hooked me up with these. Instead of a smaller type of fern and then a larger type of fern, I think they're gonna look nice. A bunch of different Anubias. Again, more rhizome plants. I don't want anything in the sand. And a different type of fern, which I like about this one, it's got like a red center in it, if you can see it. Here, let's put it down here and you'll be able to see it. Now we're obviously gonna open these up, escape the tank with them and all that other stuff, but. And then these right here, more Anubias. Now for the hardscape, you're gonna like this. Now keep in mind, I'm in Canada. I got Manzanita. Three branches, like look at this. 34 bucks. This is what we're paying in Canada for this. I just went to CK Fish World and met up with Peter, the owner there, and he was selling massive, massive pieces of manzanita for like 150 bucks US. That's what, well, thank you to Tom for helping me out, but that's what $45 gets you in Canada and $35 gets you in Canada and... I think another 25 or 35 bucks or whatever. But anyways, that's actually accurately priced for seeing manzanita in fish stores in Canada. We got some big pieces of cereal stone and a bonder, a spray bonder for hardscape. Apparently this stuff is uh, the bee's knees. So we, we gotta try that. This stuff is for the plants though. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're ready to skate Mitch's Aquarium with me, my Fahaka Puffer, I need you to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you if you've already done so and thank you for giving it a thumbs up and subbing now. Oh, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you his tank mates. You'll be surprised. All right, so bear with me. I apologize about the angle, but I think I've got everything ready. I've got all my plants out and I just took them out of the bags right now. So um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with my rock work and then we're gonna kinda go from there. Let's get going. Let's get going, guys. I don't even care. I just drop right in. We're done. It doesn't look so bad. Problem is, you can't really see it. Goes to show you my aquascaping skills. 
So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to release Mitch's tank mates first. I'm going to let it clear up and settle and then we'll add Mitch after. And you can't see anything. <laughs> but there are his tank mates and there's two bags in them. Actually, there's a bag right here. Plop and drop, baby. They are well acclimated. It's been hours since they've been in the tanks, all with the same temperature. And we're just gonna drop them all in. And I'm gonna let them flop into the aquarium. Come on, dude. There you go. And they'll all find each other. If this works, I'm gonna be so pumped. And if this works, I'm grabbing more than when I than 50 of them. I'm probably gonna grab another hundred of them. So it'll look really cool. There was 50, there are 49. One was DOA in the bag. So there you have it. He was extremely small anyway. But they look like they're doing good so far. Water's completely fine, just completely stirred up from the sand. And, but it's already starting to clear up, as you can see. You're starting to see some of the scape come through and all that other stuff. But we're going to wait, and then we're going to add Mitch when this is cleared up. We'll see this too, guys, before I leave. I've never had luck with Cardinals. Um... I don't know what it is. They're one of the only fish that doesn't matter how many times I get them, I never have luck with them and they pass away. So wish me luck with these guys because I'm going to need it. All right, guys, we're back. It's the next day. Tank's cleared up quite a bit. So let me show you. So that's how it's looking so far. I'd say everybody's doing great. You said it to go into your new home, bud? Look at him. What a stunning puffer. I love him. Argue honestly my favorite fish in the in the Farage. Beautiful. All right, so let's get them added in. All right, so get all your lids open. Get the food out of the way. Get all the lids open, and it's time to grab Mitch. I am using a net to catch him. I feel that I've used buckets in the past to catch puffer fish. They say only use buckets. It makes them otherwise they'll get puffed up and all that other stuff and however I've never had an issue with a net um, and the transfer is so quick I do not think there's going to be an issue at all one bit whatsoever so let's go and grab Mitch I think he knows something's up he may freak out and that's okay we don't want him to and we're just going to catch him like that and we're just going to grab him And we've got him. There he goes. Is he going to eat the Cardinals? I think time will tell on that. But he's in. He's going to be okay. Man, he looks stunning. In this aquarium... I really think that we're going to finally get to see Mitch um, enjoy himself a little bit more. He would just seem, he was happy there with other fish, but he wasn't as happy as he could be. And I think, although he does well with other fish, um, I think having him in his own aquarium with other fish, mind you, but minuscule, very small fish that aren't going to be a competition for food or anything like that will be much, uh, much better for him. But he's looking good. I think it's going to be great in here. I wish it wasn't as cloudy the next day, but I stirred everything up quite a bit. There was a little bit of leftover detritus in the bottom of the tank and remnants of old sand, and I kind of just left that in there. But Not in terms of cycling, but because these filters, filters are heavily cycled. But I think he's looking good. Like, look at him. Doesn't he look absolutely incredible? He's the most beautiful puffer fish on YouTube. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for Mitch's new aquarium. 
I know I am. I think it's going to be absolutely great. Yeah, he's got a lot of room in here, as you can see. We're going to get to see Mitch really come out of his shell in here after a few days. Give him a couple days. I don't expect he'll eat tonight, maybe tomorrow, but the next day he'll eat. He's always had a great appetite, even after transferring, and he's been transferred from aquarium to aquarium um, quite regularly. So this will be great for him. Guys, that is the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know what you think about Mitch's new aquarium, how you think I did on the scape on a scale of 1 to 10, let's say. I'm going to give myself about a three. Um, it can't be too elaborate. My aquascaping friends, please take it easy on me, but I think it'll be all right. I'm excited to see Mitch come out of his shell a little bit more in the channel and myself. We can enjoy Mitch a little bit more for, you know, to have him in his own spotlight, if you will. And uh, by the way, mm -mm, the black arowana and my silver doing incredible. Absolutely great. So for anyone concerned, they are doing incredible. Here, I'll give you a better look. Absolutely great. A lot of glare from the other tanks and whatever, but it's water change day. Anyways, this video is not about him. This video is all about Mitch. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next one.